They're solitary. They are. This must be some kind of migration. Oh, at least there's no sign of Silverstream. I can't imagine getting caught in the middle of that flock. It's just lucky we're all over here and they're all over there. Technically... Don't even say it. Whatever you do, don't look at them. Their gaze can turn you to stone. So what do we do? Run! Sorry, we have to get out of here. I know. Hang on. We can't leave. Silverstream might still be in the forest. Stay here. I'll get the others. Be careful! <laughs> the clucking is coming from everywhere! The great and powerful Trixie fears no cluck! Come on! We've got to get out of here. I'm not leaving him. <gasps> Mudbriar's been turned to stone? I didn't think I could love him anymore. We've got to get out of here. But we haven't found Silverstream. We can't leave yet. <laughs> we can't stay here. Come on. Silverstream found a good place to hide. There could be hundreds more cockatrices on the way. If this really is a migration, it'll take a full lunar cycle to complete. Oh, I have to get word back to our parents that Silverstream could be surrounded by those terrifying birds! And as handsome as Mudbriar is now, we should probably catch one of them to turn him back to normal. Ugh, this is all my fault. I'm never taking time off from my counseling duties again. That seems a little extreme. Really? If I hadn't galloped off to a holiday celebration, Silverstream would be safe with her family and you'd all be enjoying Maud's party. Instead, my student is missing, we're surrounded by a flock of petrifying chicken snakes, and Maud's boyfriend was turned into a hunk of rock! You got the hunk part right. And to top it off, we have no idea if Silverstream even came to Everfree at all. But I have no idea where else to look! Has that always been there? What? Oh, that's the student's treehouse. Apparently it grew from the Tree of Harmony and... <gasps> of course! That should have been the first place we looked! So I asked our old captain of the guard to handle the job. I've taken the security here to a whole new level. The only thing I need now is some pony to test it. <gasps> you want me to break into Celestia's castle? If you can get past my defenses, steal the crown, and get out, you'll be Sibling Supreme forever. Forever. But if you fail, I keep the crown. Deal. Wait, are you sure this counts? Mom and Dad aren't giving us any stars. I will represent their authority. And thank you, Twilight. Your help will reveal if there are any holes in our security. And there aren't. I've designed a multi-tiered, impenetrable, triple-backed-up line of defense. The castle is surrounded by shards of Queen Chrysalis's throne. Thanks to Star Swirl, its anti-magic powers are now tuned to stop any creature from using a spell to get inside. You can't fly in, either. Giant fans keep any creature from flying too close to the castle. 
Plus, the entrances to the tunnels below the castle have been sealed, so there's no underground access. And even if you could get in, which you can't, I've doubled the ranks of security. Ponies protect every hallway and door, which can only be opened with Royal Guard medals. Even if you brought an army, the throne room is the safest spot in Equestria. I rigged a floor trap to activate at the slightest touch. But say you avoid the floor, still no luck, because I've employed nature's alarm system. Geese, you can hear their honks all the way in Ponyville. Plus they bite. <laughs> So that's what we're up against. Whew, that's a barrel and a half of obstacles, plus a bushel and a peck of impenetrability. And all of this is to win some fillyhood competition with your brother? It's more than that. Okay, it's exactly that. And to protect Celestia's castle. If it means that much to you, Twilight, we're in. I was already in! Come on, who doesn't want to hang with these? Of course we'll help, but how? Shining Armor may have come up with some great security, but I'll never guess Twilight's plan. We play to our strengths and defeat all of the security measures. That way, if one of us fails, the others will still have a shot at getting the crown. Pinky, you'll distract the guards with a surprise party. Yes, sir, Twilight, sir! Applejack, you'll buck your way into the sealed tunnels. Rainbow Dash, if any pony can outfly those wind turbines, it's you. Rarity, you'll sew us guard costumes so we can sneak past security. Then Fluttershy will disable the throne room alarm by charming the geese. It's from Shining Armor. Dear Twily, hope your idea isn't just touching balloons, tunnels. He guessed your whole plan! What? Pinky Party, Rarity Costumes, sign the future sibling supreme? Oh, come on! Twilight, darling. No pony knows you better than your own brother. So you're saying I should give up? I'm saying your brother will win. No matter how brilliant your plan is, no matter how many variations you try, it will be something your brother expects, and he'll always win, unless... When the perfect chance comes along, you do something he can't expect. Then you'll win. You've been practicing that speech, haven't you? A little bit. It felt like I rushed. Did I rush it? Yes! That way Yona want to learn how to do all the pony things, even if Yona has to wear dress. Well, uh, yeah, yes, if, if that's what you really want. Mm hmm Yona be best pony pal for Sambar. In that case, at an elegant affair like a pony dance, one must converse in a sophisticated fashion. Talking with Brussels sprouts in your mouth helps you to learn to articulate. Take a mouthful and repeat after me. How kind of you to ask me to tea. <coughs> May I offer you a glass of punch? <coughs> the weather is quite agreeable today. <coughs> <laughs> You're not like Brussels sprouts. Let's move on. We will need to do something about your hairstyle, but first, let's find the right dress. Now, purple taffeta, frosted chiffon, <gasps> gold brocade, one of my favorites. You're not like brown. <sighs> Earth tones. They're so <laughs> earthy, aren't they? Don't worry, we should find something to make you stand out. Yona not want to stand out. Yona want to fit in. Ah, quite. And by the time we're through, it'll be like you've been going to pony dances your whole life. The more you know how things are done, the more confident you'll be. There's more to a dance than just having fun, and there's no better teacher than me. Oh, Yona, see! When I'm finished with you, you'll start to fit right in. Listen to me when I say, once you learn the pony way, you'll start to fit right in. Right in! No need to wait another day to be part of our smart soiree. The perfect dress, a color, all the rage, but 
but still unique. Now loose the braids, try a style more fantastic. Here's what we'll do, we'll horn a cure and a deep freeze. We'll dress shampoo this way. darling, but dancing, and I know precisely who can help. Uh, Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy good at dancing? Don't be so surprised. I'm awesome at everything. Except for baking. There are two traditional dances that every pony does at the fete. After a few days of practicing with us, you'll know them both. <gasps> oh my goodness. Good morning, little one. I've come a long way to meet you. Did you know there's a whole wide world out here waiting to say hello? Did you? Oh, did you boo? Oh, you boo, you boo? I can't answer you. It's an egg. Uh, Dragon Lord Ember, how nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Uh, which one are you again? The party one? Apple Dash. Or was that the country one? Fluttershy. The one who loves creatures. Are... All these yours? What? No, none of them are. Watching over eggs is just part of the glamorous life of a dragon lord. I think it sounds wonderful. Yeah, then maybe you can help. <gasps> I'd love to. Just tell me what to do. I don't know. It's my first time being in charge. Dad wasn't big on sharing dragon lord details. It's kind of a burn or be burned job. Well, I'm sure you're doing great. Not really. The eggs should have hatched by now, but none of them have even cracked. Oh dear. Maybe they're lonely? Don't you worry. Auntie Fluttershy's here, and the Dragon Lord and I are going to do everything we can to welcome you into this world. Really? How? Um, I have no idea. Now that's a thing of beauty. Whoa! Well, if it isn't our little pony friend, Spike. That's Equestria's official friendship ambassador to the Dragonlands to you. And I'm not little. I had the molt. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Runt's got wings. I'm so impressed. What's that supposed to be? Nothing. <laughs> Looks like a baby blanket to me. It's not a baby blanket. It's a... Comfort blanket. Ah! <laughs> Aww, did your pony pals make it for you with friendship and gumdrops? No, I made it. And by the way, knitting is a lot harder than it looks. Check out the baby blanket, guys. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Got your blankie. Oh, little baby crying. <sighs> oh, mess. <sighs> Betty broke a claw and everything. <laughs> Give it back. That's for my friend. <laughs> Cut it out. You know laugh fire's dangerous. It can do that. Garble. Smolder, what are you doing here? How's it scaling, bra? We better get out of here before your brother shows up. Garble isn't very nice to sensitive dragons. But Garble is my brother. Your brother? Got a problem with that, pony boy? Oh, brother.
Ooh. I've missed you, bro. We got a lot of fun to catch up on. There's no lava diving at school. Good luck getting Garble to do anything. <laughs> yeah, he's been so weird since you left. Hiding and moping around. I have not! Had so. so! Easy, guys. I learned at Twilight School, ganging up on each other isn't half as cool as you think. Aw, pony school made you soft. Wanna try me and find out? <laughs> Maybe later. Uh, I can't read this thing. How am I supposed to lead a Philly guide's hike if the map makes us more lost? Did some pony say lost? Not for long. <laughs> oh, now this is just terrible. Miss Cheerily ordered cupcakes for school today, and I forgot to make the order. Yeah, no biggie. Students going hungry? Not on our watch. Let us bake, sister. <gasps> and then they carried Granny Smith across the street. There wasn't even any traffic. It's not that we don't appreciate their help. But suddenly, Celestia and Luna seem to think we can't do anything on our own. How are we supposed to learn to be rulers of Equestria with them fixing every teensy problem for us? Maybe the princesses changed their minds. Maybe they don't think we're up to the responsibility of protecting Equestria after all. Or maybe this week's just a one-time thing that'll never happen again. Ah, a strategy meeting. What is the danger this time? A rampaging beast? Evil spell? Friendship problem? We're ready to do whatever we can. Great. But is something wrong? It's just, you've been helping us an awful lot. And we know you have way more important rulery things to do, so... We've spent more than enough time in the throne room. Real life is happening out here. Wait, that's what this is about? You're sick of being princesses? Not exactly. Battling the Everfree Forest alongside Star Swirl made us realize what we've missed out on. So instead of spending the day ruling and the night patrolling dreams, we wanted a chance to do the things you do. Save the day, adventure with friends, shampoo anteaters. I'm pretty sure Fluttershy is the only pony that does that. Well, there are way more fun things to do than follow us around. Ooh, you should make a list of all the stuff you never tried but always wanted to. There's a lot of little things out there to do. What an intriguing idea. Only it's much harder to justify a vacation from the castle when it's not an emergency we're responding to. Don't worry. We'll cover your palace duties. It'll be a good chance for us to practice for when you retire. Well, if you're sure you don't mind the extra effort. Psh! Thank you, Twilight! What a relief to know the royal swanifying ceremony is in good hooves. <laughs> the what now? Fun not yet had. I can't wait to start planning our time off. A chance to do whatever we want. And you know what that means. Realization! Uh, well, it's just that I... I spend each night in every pony's intense dreams so I could use some real-world downtime. I understand. But for me, every day is real-world. Meetings and decrees and meetings about decrees and decrees about the meetings. I crave excitement! Uh, I'm not sure how we can both be happy. Unless... We take turns doing what we like. Sister Trap! And I have the perfect accessories for us to wear. Wait right here. Oh! <laughs> we'll be twinsies. <laughs> Just like regular pony tourists. I knew you'd love it. I have a few things for us, too. Sunglasses, bug spray, ice boots, bus sanitizer, and travel snacks. <gasps> you have to add water. What do you think? It's perfect, sister. The cheer squad really needs you. What do you mean? Well, I've been helping out, and let's put it this way. We've got two weeks until the big game, and we could use two years. But that's all gonna change, because 
You're here to save the day. Okay. So why are you here? What? A potential school spirit? You don't even go to this school. Uh, okay, when I went to the Buckball Hall of Fame, I found out Buckball souvenirs are big bits. If Twilight's team does well, I could start selling them full time in Ponyville. So I have a vested interest, and you have an assistant coach. Yeah. <laughs> She's here. Get the lights. Over and over and over again. We want to dance for each other and for all of our friends. Dancing, right? I've seen you two around school, haven't I? <laughs> I'm Shimmy Shake, and this is Light Hoof, and we are your lead dancers. I didn't know you three would be here. <laughs> you know what to cheer and make Pony Pyramid! And I thought this could be my chance to make an impression on every pony. You know, for something other than changing shape. I didn't realize you were into school spirit, Smalder. Eh, I just came with these two. Guess they think you can make Cheer Squad cool or something. Don't count on it. Okay, now that we're all here, why don't you tell us the plan? How are you gonna make us into the most awesome Cheer Squad ever? Uh, uh. I mean, if you guys were an actual buckball team, I'd have plenty of ideas. But I don't know anything about cheerleading. Oh, yes. Good one, Coach. But Headmare Twilight picked you for the job, so I'm pretty sure you know what you are doing. If you say so. <laughs> right. Okay, gang. Let's show Rainbow Dash what we've been working on, and she can take it from there. Cheer Squad can do that. Yep. All we need is a little music. Yana, your stumps are a little too powerful. Can we make Pony Pyramid instead? Maybe we should figure out what cheers we should do first. Psst, yeah, because that'll fix everything. So, I mean, there's a few, uh, a lot of problems, but nothing you can't solve, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, listen, you guys don't have anything to worry about. We don't? Nope. In fact, I think what you all just did is totally fine. You guys have got this. So, uh, I'm just gonna head down to the field. Uh, great practice, everypony! Now that we're leaving, we don't see a need for the holiday any longer. Now that you're... My sister and I have decided the time for us to retire is upon us. You and your friends have proven you are ready to lead Equestria. So let this be the last Summer Sun celebration as Equestria leaves behind the old to embrace the new. My goodness! How are you feeling about all this? Something like this could definitely send you into full freaky out mode! I'm actually fine, but if this is going to be the last Summer Sun celebration, I want to make sure it's the best celebration ever. Please don't give us more work. Please don't give us more work. Please don't give us more work. So even though everything was done, I thought of a few last minute changes I could use your help with. Ah, I knew it! Oh, the end of a beloved holiday? Last minute changes to a celebration? That sounds positively chaotic. What are you doing here? I've known Celestia and Luna longer than any of you. I terrorized them, they turned me into stone. If this is the last Summer Sun situation, I simply can't miss it. Well, I see I've arrived just in time for the... Twilight gives her friends an impossibly long and overly detailed list predicament. I guess Sun Draconiquis isn't the know-it-all he thinks he is. 
This is it? What? We were kind of with Discord on this one. No more crazy lists. No more freaking out. With your help, I know we've got this. Oh, character growth is so boring. Do I at least get my own note card? There. Now I need to go rewrite my speech. But if you all look at your cards, you'll see... Can't talk now. Have so much to get done before sunrise. Why are so many ponies up in the middle of the night? It's that silly sun holiday. How many holidays do you ponies have? No matter, getting into the castle won't be a problem. Are you sure about that? Oh, those are new. But even so... Transfer! Have to head inside. Open up. Right, of course. <laughs> uh, do yours get glitchy too? More medallions, more problems, am I right? They've increased security into the castle. This is going to be more challenging than I thought. Please. Time is of the essence. Let's go team! We need to know what we're doing before we go and do it. Pinky, you and I are giving Brayburn and the Appaloosan Pony some adjustments to the menu. Fluttershy and I are meeting the Pegasi from Cloudsdale to give them changes to the weather. Spike, we're going to update the Flaming Sky Firework Unicorn Troop with Twilight's new vision. And I'm supposed to make sure Discord doesn't do anything Discordy? Well, that's annoyingly specific. Increased security on a crowded holiday with Twilight and her friends bumbling around? This is impossible. Oh, no. This is perfect. We need a distraction, and those ridiculous ponies just gave it to us. Now, do exactly as I tell you. Understand. For as long as we've known each other, Spike has never turned down an opportunity to join me here. It's his favorite place. Ideally, you catch the gems, dear. And for a trip to the post office of all places. Maybe you should move closer. And why would Spike need to go to the post office at all? He sends mail by breathing. Breathing, darling. Birth mail. Honestly, Applejack, if you're going to fill in, you could make an attempt to hold the basket the way Spike would. And how's that? Well, for one thing, Spike knows how to keep things quiet so as not to waken the bats. And he usually pulls me closely so no gem ever touches the ground. Huh? Rarity, Spike's been following you closely since he got to Ponyville. And in case you hadn't noticed, um, hi, Rarity. What's up? <gasps> Besides my mane? Well, that is a question for Spike. Oh, well, Spike isn't here. I think he's at the post office. Again? What is it with Spike in the post office? Rarity, what's going on? Spike declined my invitation to the gem cave, and I intend to find out why. Hmm, that doesn't sound like Spike. Did you two have some sort of fight? A fight? Goodness, Twilight, what in Equestria would we fight about? I've had arguments with friends before, and they can put a real strain on friendships. Well, certainly. But I think I'd remember if we had an argument. Maybe you didn't realize it? Do you think you could have done something that unintentionally hurt his feelings? What if I didn't realize what I did? How would I know what I have done when I did it? I wonder if that's it. It certainly would explain his behavior. I must apologize! 
apologize. For what? Oh, that's hardly the point. <gasps> Poor Spikey Wikey. This call for a grand gesture. <laughs> okay, good talk. Uh -huh. Griffins worked at the Ponyville Post Office? Oh, <laughs> no, I don't work here exactly. I'm the official mail carrier of Griffinstone. Gabby Griffin, nice to meet ya. <sighs> yes, well, uh, these things aren't for sending. They're for apologizing to Spike. Oh, Spike was just here. He went to go make us a... That's perfect. It'll give me a chance to practice. Uh, you stand there and tell me if I hit the right apologetic notes. What are you apologizing for? Darling, I don't see why that matters. And that is why I simply cannot bear the thought of having hurt you. And even though I don't know what it is that I did, I want you to know that it doesn't matter. Because I am prepared to do anything to make it right. And <gasps> see. Sorry, dear. I said that sure sounds genuine. 